Hey there, Coastal Bend. It was a busy Thursday of the baseball and softball playoffs, including several all-local series. One of the area's top baseball rivalries, and I would argue the top playoff rivalry, Senton and Cal Allen renewed in the second round. Remember, they played in the last two region finals. Well, this one was a barn burner. Senton's Braden Brown on the mound. What can Brown do for you? You can get the four, six, three, double play. Tight call at first. The Pirates get it out of the inning. Now in the third though, Cal Allen threatening again. Now they had had two runners on, Sinton should have been out of the inning, had an error. Well, Brown here going to give up the base knock to Vasquez, delivering with two outs. Cal Allen gets the unearned run to go up one nothing. Their fans liking it. Well, now in the bottom half of the third, it's Sinton that's threatening. Runners in scoring position looking for the big inning. They do not get that, but they do get a sack fly from Cash Wood. That's going to tie it up at one apiece. We would go that way all the way to the 10th. Seven innings later, free baseball. We go to the bottom of the 10th. Base is loaded for Blake Mitchell, and the soon-to-be MLB pick wins it with a base knock. Two outs. Go crazy, Sinton Pirates. Take this thing 2-1 the final. That series will now continue in Cal Allen, 7 o'clock, Steve Chapman Field. Man, what a game this was. That's going to be hard to top. All right, another all-local 4A series. Had Robstown heading up north to face Rockport Fulton in game one at Pirate Field. Here, Rockport Fulton, Sean Howell on the mound, going to get the strikeout. Swinging in the top of the first, then... The Pirates now threatening in the bottom half of the inning. Runner on third, and the chopper to short by Howe is going to be misplayed. The error allows Rockport to go up 1-0 on Robstown. Now the Pickers had Isai Gonzalez on the mound. He was solid, limited the damage here, getting the strikeout, swinging to end the inning later. Well, in the fourth, Pickers still down 1-0, not for long, though. Derek Silva, the RBI single to tie it. Robstown goes on to win final 4-3. So that series continuing 7 o'clock at Steve Castro Field. How about Ray over in Laredo opening up a best-of-three series with McAllen Rowe, a team that took him the distance last year. Keeping Goss on the mound. Watch this fly out, and Jack Bell coming all the way over from short and going into the wall. That kid is to and fight the weather to do it. We will see. That's a tough task. How about 